Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this non homogeneous differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left hand side. We can express in terms of m by referring to the order of the derivatives. Second order square, first order power 1, zero order power 0 with the corresponding coefficient 1 plus 3 plus 2 and we set equal to 0 which means that we should obtain quadratic function m squared plus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 let's factorize and we should obtain m plus 1 times m plus 2 is equal to 0 and hence m is equal to minus 1 or minus 2 since we obtain two real and distinct roots which means that the complementary function should have a general form of c1 times e to the power m 1x plus c2 e to the power of m 2x and this means that the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation for this differential equation we have yc is equal to c1 e to the power of negative 1x plus c2 e to the power of negative 2x. Next, let's obtain the particular integral for this associated non-homogeneous equation, which is the right-hand side. Since it is in terms of cos, which means that we should have a general form of a cos bx, but we can copy the angle directly, which is 2x plus b sine also copy the angle 2x as long as this is sine or cos and we should have this general form differentiate with respect to x differentiate cos is negative sine differentiate angle 2x we obtain 2 plus b differentiate sine is cos differentiate angle 2 differentiate again we should have 2a sine is cos positive negative negative differentiate angle we obtain 2 2 times 2 4 and we plus b differentiate cos is negative sine differentiate angle 2x we obtain 2 2 times 2 4 and we can now substitute all this into the equation that we have Firstly, we have the second order, which is this. So, which means that we have negative 4a cos 2x plus minus minus 4b sine 2x plus 3 times of first order, which is this equation. So, we have minus 2a sine 2x plus 2b cos 2x. And we plus 2 times of y, which is this function. So we have 2 times a cos 2x plus b sine 2x. Let's expand. So which means that we have minus 4a cos 2x minus 4b sine 2x plus 3 times negative 2, negative 6a sine 2x. 3 times 2 positive remain positive 6b cos 2x plus 2a cos 2x plus 2b sine 2x next let's group the function we can start with cos for cos function we have minus 4a plus 6b plus 2a so which means that we have minus 4 plus 2 which is minus 2a plus 6b and followed by the sine function for sine function we have minus 4b minus 6a plus 2b so which means that minus 4b plus 2b is equal to minus 2b and we minus 6a Compare the coefficients with the associated non-homogeneous equation. This implies that minus 2a plus 6b is equal to 4. 
cos compared with cos, sine compared with sine. Since we don't have sine function for this case, which means that coefficient is equal to 0. Then we have minus 2b minus 6a is equal to 0. Equation 1, equation 2. I'm going to rewrite equation 2 first, so which means that we have 2b is equal to minus 6a, and this implies b is equal to minus 3a. Divide both sides by 2. And substitute this into the first equation, we obtain minus 2a plus 6 times of minus 3a is equal to 4 which means that we should have minus 2a plus minus minus 6, 3, 18a is equal to 4. So which means that we have minus 20a is equal to 4, and hence a is equal to negative 1 over 5. Substitute a is equal to negative 1 over 5 into this equation, so which means that we have b is equal to negative 3, a which is negative 1 over 5 and we should obtain negative negative positive 3 over 5. Therefore, the particular integral for the associated non-homogeneous equation is a which is negative 1 over 5 cos 2x plus b 3 over 5 times sine 2x. And we should now be able to obtain the general solution for this differential equation, which is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral. So which means that we have c1 e to the power of negative x plus c2 e to the power of negative 2x minus 1 over 5 cos 2x plus 3 over 5 sine 2x, and hence we then. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.